Hey, what's up guys? Today we're talking about zinc. What is it? It's a mineral. It's important, you guys need it, and I'll tell you why right now. Zinc is involved in many enzymatic roles in the human body that are used on the daily basis. It helps your immune system, it helps your testosterone levels, it helps a bunch of stuff in your body function properly or the way it's supposed to function. So if you have a deficiency on it, it can be very, very bad. First of all, let's go over the reasons why I'm even talking about zinc right now. As an athlete, the main way that you guys excrete zinc would be through sweat. So if you guys are doing any intensive activity such as running, weightlifting, anything where you just sweat a bunch, you will be losing copious amounts of zinc. And as I mentioned, it is very important to many of your everyday function that you just require in order to live. Simple as that. So if you do not have enough zinc in your body, it literally usually projects in many ways, but some of the most noticeable ways in which it, it's, it's, it projects itself is through insulin insensitivity. So that's that's a big way. Usually people that are overweight tend to have low levels of zinc or they tend to have some insulin resistance. So zinc can definitely help out with that. Testosterone levels, males with low testosterone levels usually have low zinc or it's correlated to that. Not all the time, it's not a blanket statement, but it can definitely help you with your testosterone levels. This is something that has been proven over and over and over again. Having a really good immune system, this usually goes hand in hand with having high levels of zinc. It really helps out your immune system, guys, especially right now with the unmentionable that I can mention due to the YouTube guidelines. Or I don't even know if I can at any point, but you guys know what the heck I'm talking about. It's just basically all around the world, especially with the new D going around. This is definitely a way that can that you can take in order to empower yourself and know what the heck to do in order to be more protected. Taking the mineral zinc would definitely, definitely help as it helps out your immune system greatly. And as a plus, it's been linked in many studies to help out with depression and even acne. So if you're somebody that is suffering from either acne or depression, maybe this could be something that can help out. Maybe it is something that it could potentially, along with several other changes in your life, could steer you in the right direction to make some improvements. So usually, I like to approach my zinc intake in particular through food. I think that's the best way you can get any mineral into your body is through food. And some of the animal-based foods that I usually eat in order to get higher amounts of zinc are usually red meat, poultry, oysters. Oysters actually are super, super high in zinc, which are really, really good and they're very bioavailable. Eggs and bison, those are some of the best animal-based products that will give you high amounts of zinc that I would ingest myself. Again, guys, I am not pro-meat just because I'm pro-meat or just pro-plants because I'm pro-plants, no. I know there's people that watch my channel that do either plants or they do either meat. That's perfectly fine. Take your pick, whichever one works best for you. But if you're going more along the plant route, dark chocolate is actually a really good way to get your sink in, and I actually like it to get really dark chocolate, something between 93 and above is usually good because that means that you have low sugar with it and usually it comes with a good amount of, of, of zinc. Hemp seeds are another really good form of getting high amounts of zinc, chia seeds, pumpkin seeds. And if you are gonna go through the chia seed route, I highly recommend sprouting them beforehand. So you can go ahead and put a container the night before you're gonna ingest your chia seeds, put them in water, um, put them in the fridge, and then the next day you'll see that they'll become a little bit bubbly and they will become basically sprouted. And then they're a little bit more bioavailable. Tahini is also, another, I think that's how you say it, tahini, is another form of getting your zinc in. I've personally never tried tahini, but let me know down in the comment section if you have and if it's worked for you, if, if, if this is something that you have taken in order to get your zinc intake up. Now, as far as if you want to take a little bit of extra zinc or if you don't know if you're getting enough zinc at the moment right now and you want to get your immune system up and running um, to an optimal level, if you want to get your testosterone levels up, maybe you want to fight a little bit of that depression, maybe that acne has been bothering you long enough and you want to do something about it. Again, I can't recommend anything to you guys, but this is what I usually do. I, since I sweat a lot and I do a lot of exercise, and like I said, one of the primary ways that you lose zinc is through sweat. The way I ingest my zinc is through either meats or taking a supplement. The supplement that I take is by Thorn. The reason why I take 
Thorn is because their standards are super, super high and the quality of their products is just, I think it's really the best out there. And finally this year they're, they're putting it out so much more like the, the guys from Cross, from CrossFit are finally starting to actually get sponsored by Thorn or I don't know if it's been a super consistent thing, but you can see the brand Thorn just about everywhere. These guys have been out for several years and I think they are some of the best supplements out there, if not the best, in my opinion. They have super high quality stuff, and the zinc that I take is zinc picolinate. Take 30 milligrams of it, and that should be plenty. Usually, what most doctors recommend is about five to 10 milligrams, and that should be plenty, but the form that I take, which is zinc picolinate, is, I think, a little bit more expensive, but I think really works for me, and that is what I would take. Again, the brand is by Thorn Nutrition. I'll leave their link down below. Again, I'm not sponsored by these guys at all, but this is just a really good product that I highly recommend. Again, if you guys are very worried about what's going on right now in the world, zinc is actually a really good way to kind of foolproof yourself and get your immune system up and running, your testosterone levels in a better spot than they were. Maybe you're trying to put on a little bit of extra muscle, this can definitely help uh, as it has been known to raise your testosterone levels and that can definitely help with putting out some muscle. So there you go guys, zinc. It's a mineral, you need it, you must have it, whether it is through your food or through supplementation, go ahead and get some. Peace.